third and last time. Yes, that's Morgan Richardson on the left, who just before this shot, he was the <coughs> family solicitor, lived in Cardigan, unmarried, and uh, I don't think he really did that. He showed our family an awful lot of good. I mean, he did himself an awful lot of good, but I don't think he did much for the Hildenbrough family. But Evelyn Alderson on the left, with her husband Barry Davis, he only had one arm, got it, he lost it in a shooting accident, I think. That is George Adams. There's James. Frank Thomas with the one arm down the bottom there on the right. These same nets used to be left on the bank on the left hand side to dry out. And the whole of that land, the, the Cum land, actually belongs to the Burn family, and it was leased out to the same uh, fishermen for drying of nets, and in fact the land was described for some <coughs> quite a long time as land for drying nets. And you can see now they're going, taking the boat out, and they row round in a loop and come back onto the sands. I think they're not supposed to make the landward side fast, uh, but to, well, perhaps they leave it there till they've, yes, I think that's the landward side, and they're bringing it, bringing it across the mouth of the river <coughs> to form a great big loop, and that is the seaward side, the north side of the net, and you can see they've brought it right round now, and they're dragging it in to the beach. They used to get pretty useful uh, salmon catches in those days. You can see the line of the net running around the outside there. And in fact, they used to catch suing and salmon, probably. I don't remember other fish, but there must have been, I suppose, the odd bass amongst them. <coughs>
We moved down to Vengua from Bristol in about 1945 or little 46, somewhere around there. And uh, we then did, did quite a lot of work putting in some central heating and various things. <coughs> and the idea was to turn it into a country house hotel, which we did, but not very successfully. We ran it there, I think, from about 1953, 54. Uh, when I went back into the engineering world. <clears throat> Willie Thomas? on Flidith Cottage, which has now been demolished, and the road goes roughly where his cottage was. He was the milkman and general man at Lingua, a great guy. His wife, Mrs. Thomas, lived quite a long, a long time after, and I think she died in about 19, where are we, 1988, 89, somewhere around there. Here we are, <coughs> the road going up the mountain, off the, off the road one, going down to the bridge. That was the way down to the old blacksmith shop. And old Doc Habard used to live on the corner. Now we're going, looking up the main street. The Essex Habard shop on the left, of course. And the bakery on the right, and Harris the Shoe on the right. And the Sessions House, of course. Cherry Web, it is too. Cherry Web, I think, is still alive, and he lives at a little cottage on the entrance by the Pilgrim's Cross at Nevin. That's Captain Joy, who used to uh, farm, well, not farm, he had a market, no, a nursery, I'll get it right one day. That's one of the Thomas boys, I forget his name. Back drive going up to Fenwa. dug a hole in the, in the field to keep it more or less afloat when the tide went out. 